nowadays we are using GitOps for our application deployments. And while deploying those applications, we would also need to install our secret objects as well. But can you put those secret object of Kubernetes under Git? Of course not. Because as we know, the Kubernetes secret YAML file contains our data in the base64 encoding format, which is not an encryption. Like in this case, we have username and the password in the base64 encoded format, which anybody can easily decode with the base64 command as shown on the screen. There are different ways to solve this problem, like using Hashikov Vault, Bitnami Seal Secrets, Helm Secrets, and many more. But in this block, we are going to explore the seal secret only, which looks something like this. Here we have the kind seal secret under the API version bitnami.com slash v1 alpha 1. This seal secret contains our Kubernetes secret YAML in a form of encryption. Like we can see here, our password and username are encrypted. Along with that, we have the information about our secret like that secret it's been designed or being configured to get deployed under the namespace of default with the name my secret and it has a type opac the deployment of sealed secrets requires us to install a sealed secret controller on our kubernetes cluster and we would also need a client program called kubectl which would be given to our end users. So here we would deploy a seal secret controller inside our Kubernetes cluster in cube fiber system namespace. Now this controller is going to create a combination of public and the private key. The public key would be used for encryption along with the cube seal binary. So the end user is going to bring in the Kubernetes secret YAML file along with the public key and the cube seal binary to generate the seal secret object. Now this object once created can be put anywhere on the internet and with our GitOps or any other process once we apply the given seal secret to our Kubernetes cluster the private key of the controller is going to decrypt it and then we would create the respective Kubernetes secret in the given namespace only. The seal secret created by the public key can only be decrypted by the respective private key only. So we cannot take the seal secret from one cluster and deploy it in some other cluster which has a different private key. So with this information, let us now do a hands-on. So for that, I'm going to do a lab setup our lab setup is now being completed, which has created a Kubernetes cluster behind the scene. We would now deploy the controller, which would get deployed under the namespace of QHaven system. We can look at the get pods in that namespace, and we can see that our controller is now getting created. It is now in the running state. And with that, we would now have the seal secret object inside our Kubernetes cluster. Now we would download the client program called kubeseal on our workstation. Once downloaded, we would change its permission. And now here is our secret object, which contains our encoded value. Now we would use this kubeseal client program to take the secret.yaml file as the input which would spit out the sealed secret yaml file which looks something like this here we can see that our password and the username are encrypted we also have the respective name and the namespace here along with the type now once the sealed secret is created we can share it to the world and by some means we would apply this sealed secret to our Kubernetes cluster, like here we are doing with the command of kubectl, but it can be done with a GitOps or any other way as well. So let me apply it here. 
So this seal secret is now being applied to our Kubernetes cluster. The controller running in the cluster would take this object and decrypt the respective secret object of Kubernetes in the default namespace because that is what we have configured that this seal secret is meant for the default namespace. We can also look at the given secret object in the YAML format and here we can see we have caught our encoded values for our password and the username which can be used by the Kubernetes as it is. Seal secret also have a concept of scopes which are strict namespace wide and cluster wide which defines that can we take a seal secret and deploy it in a given cluster with a given name. So the default scope here is strict which means the seal secret can be applied only on a given namespace with a given name like this seal secret can only be applied in the default namespace with the name of my secret. Nobody would be able to change the name or the namespace for it. This is the default scope which is set to strict. If we use the namespace wide scope, in that case we can rename the secret in the given namespace. But if we use the cluster wide scope for the seal secret, then the seal secret can be unsealed in any namespace with any name by the user. So to define the scope, we would run the kube seal command with the hyphen hyphen scope option, which would help us to define the scope. We can also define annotations in our Kubernetes secret YAML file to mention uh, the scope as well. While we are here, let us talk about the secret renewal and rotation as well. As we know, our controller creates a combination of public and the private key, which gets recreated every 30 days. Remember, it is not a rotation, which means we would keep track of the older public and the private key inside the controller so that we can decrypt the seal secrets created earlier. Also remember, the recreation of the controller's public and the private key does not recreate or rotate our actual users Kubernetes secret YAML file. This has to be done manually by the user or by the administrator, which is a good practice. So we should rotate our Kubernetes secrets for our objects, for our applications at a regular interval. And that is what we refer as a secret rotation, which is a good practice to do in production. So I hope this blog has given you a good intro about seal secrets using which we can store our Kubernetes secrets anywhere securely and then use it when required. For more information, you can check out the Git repo for the seal secrets and explore further. Thank you.